The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. I can read The world's so full of wondrous things I can read Fill my thoughts and give them wings Read a book or a magazine Or the words on a computer screen The more I read, the more I know And the more I grow So come along, won't you join me? We're going to the library Hello, this is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Today you are doing a Skype interview with Dinah D, that's her name. And she is the founder and CEO of the Curve Plugs. She has a band called that because they're children's enter music entertainers. And they won several awards up in Canada, that's where she's from. So today, I'm doing an interview with her via Skype, so hope you enjoy this interview. It's so much fun. Hello, Dinah. This is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. How are you, girlfriend? How are you? Welcome I'm doing to great, Canada. It's a little cold today, but I'm doing really well. Thank you. Where about are you now? I live on Gabriola Island, yeah, yeah. which is, uh, for anybody who knows Canada, is between Vancouver and Vancouver Island. It's a very, very small island between those two places. My aunt used to live in Oakland. Okay. Yeah, many moons ago. So we're going okay. to talk. We're going to talk about the Kerplunks girl. Excellent. So, uh, when and where were they uh, formed? These Kerplunks. So. Uh -oh. The Kerplunks are a Canadian children's entertainment band, yeah. and we play music for people under four feet tall, mostly. Oh, that leaves me out. We also tend to uh, provide a lot of entertainment for adults and grandparents and other people of other ages, of course, as well. People in the second um, childhood? <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's great. Actually, we get to wear uh, kids' clothes for big people. Yay! Yay! So it's pretty fun, um, and we are a four-piece band, and we perform and entertain as a four-piece band everywhere we go. So who's the founder? I am. You is? And also, I had a friend named Tina Jones, who was also my co-founder, and she's moved on to adult music. Um, and uh, we have a new band member in her place now. So how long have you been doing this? The Kerplunks have been around for 10 years, which is kind of a long time if yeah. you're looking at bands and how long they tend to stay together. We're pretty proud of ourselves for being a 10-year-old band. And, um, and yeah, genre, we've, we've been playing for a while now. Your genre is children's songs. Yes, yeah. our genre is children's music. No matter so how old we, you are. <laughs> we write music just for children. Do you, uh, who does the main writing of the whole group? Uh, well, generally, I'm the main writer. Um, I've been writing kind of goofy songs since I was a child. And uh, and I kind of never grew out of that phase of writing goofy songs. Why so should luckily, you? It sounds beautiful. I get to write. <laughs> so, um, what are the names of the band, the group? Okay, so myself, I'm Dinah D. I play the upright bass and I sing. Yeah. Our guitar player... Mm -hmm. His name Aaron Cadwallader. Mm -hmm. He is a he's a fabulous guitar player and also an excellent singer. Our drummer is named Phil Whipper and he's a fabulous drummer. And we have a new band member named Jocelyn Hallett and she is a fabulous singer, trumpet player, keyboard player, and multi instrumentalist. So you all sing. Does the drummer sing? Drummer we sings all too. Sing. Oh wow. Um, yeah, when we're on stage, we tend to be quite a fun impact because we have a full band with drums and bass and guitar and keyboards, 
and uh, so it's pretty high impact. But we also can bring it down for a, for an audience too. How often do you need to do a gig or you, your songs recording and all? Well, generally, uh, every album that we make takes about a year to create between writing and recording and releasing the album. Uh, when we're on stage, we tend to play for about 45 minutes yeah. at a time, 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. But you know, like little kids on little bums, they tend to sort of lose interest after a short bit. So yeah. so we we find that they start losing interest after about 45 minutes because they just have to run around and get crazy, right? So. Do you live near each other? We don't actually. Well, I live on Gabriel Island, so does Jocelyn. She also lives here. But Erin Cadwallader lives in an even smaller town, North Vancouver Island, five hours north of us. Oh, my goodness. And then Phil, he lives just over over the water in Nanaimo, which is on Vancouver Island. So we're a little bit spread apart. I went there several times myself to see my Aunt Anne, Aunt Margaret there. Ah, she was a good old girl. Anyways, uh, she, she, you know, I love Vancouver Island and Victoria. Yeah, nice. So, uh, who does the melody? You? You do the well, whole song? Sort of, that's, that's something that often the band will work out all together. Um, so if, if, like, generally I'll come up with the idea of a song and then maybe we call it hook, which is either the lead melody or also the lead lyric, which is the thing that kind of hooks you in and goes, hey, I really like that idea. So um, I tend to sort of write those and then workshop within the band to sort of write the rest of the material, whether it be horn lines or obviously guitar parts. Each person sort of contributes their own little bit to each song and, and the album. Parts. And you say it takes about a year to do a CD or just one song? No, what, that's CD? just a CD. Do you do an MP or just mainly C CDs? MP. Well, EP. we make CDs. We also have on MP3. They're through through CD Baby and iTunes. The Kerplunks are easily searchable. We have four albums and a DVD, so we're we're fairly searchable online there, so people can find our material. And there is a. Um, there's an outfit called CD Baby, which is the best place to buy our material. If you're if you're in the states and you're looking for our stuff, it's uh, they might even offer free shipping sometimes. Oh, that'd be nice. So, mm -hmm. so they do, yeah. Would you ever come down to the United States to do a wee bit of touring, or just? Of course, we would love to. Yeah. Um, and and uh, and all we need is some invites to get down into anybody's neighborhood. Uh, we haven't done a lot so far. We mostly stayed in Canada, as that's our home base, and it's fairly easy to fly about our country. Um, yeah. Uh, though not cheap, <laughs> we also would love to come and travel in the states a little bit more, of course. So definitely, don't be shy to invite us to your. Town. Oh, I won't be shy. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about that now. So, um, <laughs> you have won awards in the past for your uh, songs. Tell me about it. Yes. Well, two of our albums have been shortlisted for the Grammys, which isn't a win, and it's also not a nomination. But it's they have a long list and a short list, so two of our albums have been shortlisted for the Grammys, oh, yeah. which is uh, which is your home home neck there. Uh, and then the Canadian Grammys are called the Juno Awards. I know that. And and every one of our albums has been nominated for the Junos. Ah. Uh, and then also nationally is the Canadian Folk Music Award. And? and the Folk Music Award is the award we just won for this album. It's called Pants and Mammals. <gasps> wow. Hey, that sounds yeah. good. That sounds good. Yeah, so, so we just won that award for that. And we also won that award for another one of our albums, our second best album. And then... Um, <laughs> And then um, we have also won um, international songwriting competitions before, oh, yeah. and the uh, the international songwriters competition. Oh wow! Um, there's been a few, and the independent music awards as well. We've also won and been nominated in all of those as well. Who's your label? Are you indie? We are not. We are independent. Yeah, cool. So you do your own producing and all that sort of stuff, marketing. So, uh, all that stuff. 
it's a little bit to work without that umbrella of an overhead organization like a label or a or whatever but it's so much easier now to be an independent Cheaper. artist with the internet and everything <laughs> happening and you can have it under your own control so you know where it's going and all so tell me, uh, how did it yeah. go that night uh, for the Canadian Folk Music Awards? How did it go? Tell us what you thought when you won. Oh, that was so cool. So I had a couple of really fun dates with me that were friends of friends that uh, we had decided to go out for dinner. And we arrived at the awards and mm -hmm. were ushered to our seats, of course. of course. And we sat down and they immediately started the awards with the children's music category. So mm. I didn't even have a chance to breathe or really settle into my seat before they were running off. And the nominees are... Da -da 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 -da. And then suddenly they announced the performance for Pants and Mammals, which is the name of our newest album. So suddenly I had to run up on stage and accept an award, and it was pretty breathtaking mm. to be able to uh, give a speech and be there in person and everything for a big award like that. It was well, very congratulations, my lady. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, when you're putting songs together, where do you get the ideas, your creations, so to speak? Well, that's a great question, actually, Patty, because we we create based on real life adventures that mm -hmm. we do. I uh, have been a beekeeper in my past, so I wrote, I wrote a song called Honey Bee about bees. Uh, there's also, like, all of us love to eat cake, so we wrote a song about cake. Um, and then riding bicycles. There, some of these are very perennial themes for children's music. And, um, and going for a walk or you know, eating eating healthy fruits and vegetables, like all of these kinds of things. Or, or I also have chickens. A few of us actually have chickens in the band. And so, you know, we, we take inspiration also from our chickens and our ducks. And Chicken like in that. the band. That sounds like a nice title. Really. Yeah. Really. I, I write children's lyrics as well. I like to share them with you sometime. See what, how, what you think of my writings. But I've been doing that, uh, writing... Uh, many uh, styles, world, as well as others. And um, it's, it's fun when you have other... Patricia Conroy sang one of my songs. Cool. It's called Godspeed. It's not religious, but it is uh, about me missing my husband when he had to go away and, and cool. I had to stay behind. Well, that was a good, that was a good song. Um, you have a website, right? Yes. What's that? The Kerplunks have a website. It is uh, www.thekerplunks.com. How do you spell that, and Kerplunks? Is, Kerplunks. I should spell it out, I guess. So T-H-E-K-E-R-P-L-U-N-K-S.com. Right. Who came up with the title for that one, eh? Did you come yeah, up with that title? Yeah, is a name. Oh, cool. I like that. I like it. Mm-hmm. So, uh... How many CDs again and DVDs have you done in the past? We, we have four albums, so yeah. four CDs, mm -hmm. and one DVD that has ten songs on it. Ah. And we've also been very busy doing science commissions, which is which are videos that we, uh, we write songs and then create videos for science and space and other Technology. organizations that have us to make fun material for kids. I have done... Uh, I made several music videos from my lyrics, which I think is cool. Excellent. And I work with Three Rivers Art Center for Kids. They're a group of art, people of the arts getting together to raise awareness of child abuse to this area. And we're Excellent. communicating around the world, you know. So I just thought yeah. no, I, I wrote the theme for track, it's called track, and uh, that's cool. You should hear it. I can share it. It's not it. easy to make music videos, so good for you to do that. Yeah, it's not a easy. Lot of work. Not easy being green, I must say. You got a song <laughs> for me, girlfriend? You got a song Her for me? You gonna play the ukulele? Yes. Dude. Would you like the song? I would love it. I like being All serenaded. Right. Here's All my right. little ukulele. 
That's a cute thing. Okay, what's it called? Okay, I'm going to sing a little song for you. It's called Cake. Mm hmm. And actually, off of this album, Pants and Mammals. Yeah. Um, and it's basically just a celebration of cake. And I dare anybody who hears this to not want to rush out and find a cake and eat some. I want it right now, girlfriend. I want it right now. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Here's a song just for you, Patty. Thank you, man. Celebration of cake. Morning time, there's room for cake. Afternoon, there's room for cake. Evening time, there's room for cake. There's always room for. On my fork, there's room for cake. At the beach, there's room for cake. On my plate, there's room for cake. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, always room for cake. Always room for cake. At the beach, there's room for cake. In the park, there's room for cake. My backyard, there's room for cake. There's always room for yesterday, there's room for cake. My birthday, there's room for cake. Christmas Day, there's room for cake. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, oh. always room for cake. <laughs> <laughs> Always room for cake. Always room for cake. Always room for cake. Well, I want a piece of chiffon. What do you call that? Chiffon cake? Angel yeah. food cake. I want some of that right now with ice cream on all. Oh. Ah. There you go. Oh, my goodness, girl. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> cool. I loved it. You got a good voice. Thank you. Do y'all have, uh, did y'all take lessons to sing? This is your natural I'm self? I'm the only musician in the Kerplunks who did not do any education for music. I kind of grew up, grew up this way. Huh. <laughs> but you got a nice voice. And, uh, but all the other members of the Kerplunks are all graduates from jazz schools all around British Columbia in, in Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all amazing, accomplished, stellar musicians. As they say, you know, surround yourself with greatness and you will get better. So as as we do in the Kerplunks. So all of the band members are, are, are very well established musicians. And uh, I'm the only one that never went to school. But you learned the guitar as well as the ukulele on your own? You taught yourself? You taught, wow. Yeah, I play banjo and piano. Yeah. And um, and mostly right on ukulele or upright bass, which is my real, that's my real passion is the upright bass. Oh, my stars. Yeah, I'd like to ask you a question, my dear. Well, I've already been asking you a lot, but the, how can you give advice Good advice, advice to the kids when they're growing up to uh, achieve their goal in life. That's an excellent question, actually, Patty, because when I was young, I always wanted to be a musician. My. And when, when, I was, when I was little, I had varying responses to that. Mm -hmm. My parents were very, very supportive. So I was very fortunate to be in a supportive family of people who said yes, Please do what you want when you grow up. That's great. But it was very interesting because there's challenges like within the education system. You need to have like real jobs or what all this. For me, I'm lucky enough to be a creative person and be able to live my passion. Mm. And part of that is a lot of hard work, which is establishing yourself and doing a bit of doing a bit of work and chatting with cool people like Patty's Page and like other okay. kind of fun places. But also the biggest part of it is just being determined deciding what you want to do and just follow your heart because sometimes people can guide you the other direction but I find if I just follow my own truth or my own heart I can actually get myself to where I want to be and sometimes people have good suggestions and sometimes people's suggestions are to be taken with what they call a grain of salt so yeah. follow your heart uh, see your dreams all the way through if you want to be an astronaut don't stop 
just stick to it and you can be an astronaut one day. It just takes a lot of work and a lot of steady, sturdy motion. Yeah, to be a, a poet, which I began out as, and then a lyricist. And I started back in, when I was 33, I'm now 64. I, mm -hmm. Anyways, it took me a long time to finally get some people to interested in my songs. Lyrics to the yeah. it. I have people in Holland, Canada, the United States, and Excellent. in England putting music. Oh. I think that's grand. So uh, this is almost uh, towards the end. We're going to be playing uh, one of your favorite uh, uh, music videos. Which one is it called again? Do you have a favorite video? Of yours? I think that the best video to play that you can find on YouTube is called Good Question. Good and it's Question. Also from this album. I can play that. Excellent. So it's on YouTube. Uh, Good Question by the Kerplunks. It's really fun and it involves a, uh, a series of really fun events and some really cool toys that we used and real buses. So you'll 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 kind of get what I mean when you when you play the video. I it. saw it. I said, "Ooh, how did they do that? Special effects, girl!" But that was well done. That was well done. I liked it most. The rest of the band, they got families and children and all the way. Yeah, you too. Got kids. Yes, they do. So. The Kerplunks have, oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five children under okay. our umbrella, so to speak. Oh my stars. And uh, they, were, they were really great practice models for a lot of our songwriting. And sometimes you'll see them in, in our music videos. Oh. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And also, we, um, the two founding members of the Kerplunks, myself and my friend Tina, we used to have a preschool program, which was how we tried a lot of the material that, that we started writing. Yeah. and learn to sort of connect with children and, and be in that environment as two people that didn't have kids at that time. So uh, this is 10 years ago. So uh, so eventually, of course, we have families and all kinds of great stuff. So uh, it's been it's been a really fun, fun journey, learning to connect with children, being being part of the the Canadian so far, just Canadian kids music scene uh, is a really big family that's that's really well established with some some older performers and some young up-and-comers like ourselves and other mm -hmm. people that are even younger than us start doing what we're doing now. And we're really looking forward to connecting in the American children's music scene as well and broadening our family, of course, and across the world. Do you work with organizations like charity, like, uh, well, what is it called, Variety Club or Variety Club? You work with the we children's sit charity? We've all kinds of concerts. Yeah, lots of different groups. We we tend to um, we tend to focus on literacy as one of our biggest things that we feel is an important thing, and of course, musical education. So those are our two biggest passions: uh, learning to read, um, uh, going to the library. We're a huge fan of libraries. Ah, and, cool. Yeah, and I we, love libraries. We have a song on our new album called "I Can Read," which is all about going to the library. It's a really fun blues tune you might really like on our new album, and. Um, and we also feel really strongly about musical education. It's 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 always a bummer to hear people say, I only can play the play button on my stereo. Ah. I don't want to see people playing music. It's a beautiful language and there's lots to learn. And it's a whole new way of communicating with other people too. So we, we tend to focus on literacy and music is, is our two major passions. Well, Dinah, we got to go. It's the end well, of the show. Well, thank you for chatting, Pat. Well, thank you, Dinah, for being on my show. Oh, it's so good to see you. So, thank wave you. to the kids. Wave to the kids. Hi, everybody. Thank you for listening and watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the Internet and maybe even in person at a live show. Yeah. Groovy. Yeah, the Bye. <laughs> see ya. got a good question. I'd like to find a good answer. I want to know what's going on around my world. I've got a good question. 
I'd like to find a good answer. I want to know what's going on around my world. What if you and I could build a cool machine? There's lots of crazy things, no. got a good question. I'd like to find a good answer. I want to know what's going on around my world. I've got a good question. I'd like to find a good answer. I want to know what's going on around my world. Inspect, invent, a good question. I'd like to find a good answer. I want to know what's going on around my world. What's going on? What's going on? got a good question. I'd like to find a good answer. I want to know what's going on around my world. I've got a good question. I'd like to find a good answer. Oh.